He's always been this aggressive, in-game heavy jumper. Just um, and he hasn't, I feel like, necessarily had lanes. Uh, he was super strong, so he had to kind of fix all the time and don't want to kind of support that fast. So maybe that's no good. First game of 2019. LCS season, facing off against TSM. We got two-time world champion Bang On Save the Sunday Afro who he Anda. We're killing it. We got Prowley too. He looks beautiful as ever. I'm looking at him right now. I'm excited. Let's go. But look at Pierce's beard. Oh my god, what a man. I guess start of the season was really rough for us. We tried to start as soon as possible scrimming in January, which meant like the move-in was really fast. The first week of scrims was definitely kind of a bit of a wash. It took a really long time uh, for us to get really like in sync of how practice is going to go. I think probably halfway through our preseason boot camp, I came to the realization like this team is going to need a lot more time than I expected. is hundred feet and challenging them on the red side it is TSM and I'll wait let's go baby let's go come on someday let's go let's go let's go first match TSM Flash gonna find the first knockup look at the first one across first one sure to land goes over to Sven the flank oh. and and Anna's gonna drop as well to TSM. Play it away, but gets the OP on. They're gonna go for another kill. This will be picked up, no problem. Sven, unstoppable, but now ground out is Alistair. It oh. is provide the top, but so still no one dying. Still it's TSM surviving. Katie cannot quite kill off Bang. Finds the slow, but he cannot get the kill. One of the board for 100 Come, thieves. Top side, exposed inhibitor, 100 thieves. This is our last chance. They've got an all recall right now. Maybe they can outplay uh, the Zillion ultimate. Big damage on him, but gets the redemption to heal him back up. He'll stay alive. Plus, keep in mind, there's still a Zillion. Oh! Getting lower. Look they at the play. They will revive him. Here comes round two. No Zillion ultimate for right now, but look at that cooldown. Late game, Zillion spamming the rewind. It's back off of cooldown. Be hooked only on Alistair. He goes in for a single stun, but extra buy some time. And they're all he will get ulted. He's gonna find the bomb. Sunday's gonna drop a Katie and steals the kill. Puts in the ult, but loses not even his life. Only the zillion ult. That's three revives during this siege. There's too many of TSM, and he will get back. The next will drop, and TSM gets the win. Eternal Dragon, when they're walking up, we should already be ready to go. First game on stage together. How to feel the start? It's fine. I feel like we did good early pathing and they did like great, like it was to level up, we invaded both their buffs, all those. I think we even full buffed him on the second second buff spawn. Yeah. And then we just have to maintain the right side control. We talked about control like Carol too. And then on the right side control, we just took the wrong fights when like we walked up when mid midway was there and they're gonna come up at was side too. And like that could have been like hundred percent stopped. We get some high ten. We lost big team fight. That makes big snowball. Yeah. I think probably halfway through our preseason boot camp, I came to the realization like this team is going to need a lot more time than I expected. But this team kind of felt a lot different. I wanted to coach it differently than I'd previously coached in years. And I wanted to kind of start with like the weakest point of our previous roster iteration, which was literally just team camaraderie and how the players like had conversations about the game about life. Oh, <laughs> 
Big bite. <laughs> like that, there we go. Come on. Just bite. There we go. Those for that? Oh it's no, bad. it's too bad. It's too bad no! <laughs> Let me see. You're getting drinks, right? Yeah. You got me? Got me? <laughs> he it wants me to get stuff. I want one. <laughs> Ah, you got me. You got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Say, say, I got you. That's what you say. Ah, uh, I got you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our first loss against TSM that night, we did draft 4C9. And that was probably like the best draft drafting session I had in a whole year, two years maybe. I literally had like all five players up at the board writing their like opinions and thoughts and kind of like trying to jab each other, like counter pick each other, try to like figure out stuff. So, and this is coming off of like a very first loss, right? Very first match. I could see a lot of teams like being really upset at that or like taking that for a day, taking time to cool down. Like we got home, watched the game, found out a few things to improve on to work on for next week. And then we went and did draft for the match next day. And it was great. I don't know, that's a good sign to me. If I have to be the one like to motivate them after a loss, that's usually like something I need to do for like a rookie or someone who's like not in the space. I think since it's a new team and uh, we were really hyped for ourselves and we had a lot of like expectation, we really wanted to go 2-0 and uh, start the weekend really well. So that like it kind of ignites the hype or like our motivation or like our expectation. Going for the Nexus, 46 minutes into the game, 100 Thieves will take down TSM. 100 Thieves, they slay the rest of Cloud9 and they'll take down the Nexus. But unfortunately we failed that, uh, we went 0-2. Uh, when I usually walk on the stage, I usually have like those mindset I'm gonna do well and like the reminders I shall think about it the stuff that we learned uh, in the week of practice really uh, Kali or something like that today I just felt like I wasn't doing it automatically and I was like just out of it usually on the first yes I'm like focused but I still felt like I wasn't really and I was like something was off and uh, yeah I think like, I don't want to give any excuses, but like, that's something that I want to fix going for the next week. Hui very low on mana, so Niski goes in, he hits the Q, and Hui does try to get a trade oh, back. He flashed diagonally, that's the worst direction. Yeah, I mean, there's just no excuse. I just int it, like straight up. I wasn't focused at all. When I got first blooded, that's when I realized I, I like messed up a huge. I didn't really understand why I wasn't focused, and I did my best getting back in the game and focusing in the game. I was communicating really loudly. Oh, this is like our win. Like we should take this and uh, I can TP, we should win this. I, I, want, I want to try to put a one on Herald too. Yeah, I have to <coughs> One minute on one. Oh, this enemy here. Yes, this time. Yeah, no, I'm no, looking, no, no, we just gotta go, 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 go Herald now. Okay, we gotta okay. go Herald. You guys have TP, right? Watch me, watch me. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm here first, I'm here first. We should fight. My TP is messed up. I have to walk. I have to take a look at big. <laughs> going, going, going. The kill, but is he going to be taken down himself? Answer is yes. Niski's able to make it a one for one. Zazel's made his way up to the top lane along with Afromu, but the ghost will fall, and Cloud9 gets. Yeah, the so here's the TP. If you look up in the top, unfortunately, from who he. That to me is probably a mini map misclick. Yeah. Where you're trying, where you have your screen in the position where that's the kind of you know, the ward you're trying to go to is in the bottom right. You click the mini map. So unfortunate for him. And at that moment, it, like. I feel like if I was normal, I would have paused the game and uh, like ask, uh, like kind of like fight for it. Like, you know, like this is a bug. Like I click the lane bush pink ward, I want to like inspect it. It's just everything ca came a little late and like messed my head up that feeling really bad for my teammates and uh, like everyone. So I was doing my best to pick it up, but I feel like like we were doing our best, but we, we were a little too far behind. 100 Thieves stands only three men strong. The minion wave is there. The enemy team is there. Cloud9, ladies and gentlemen, are there. And 25 minutes in, they will take that Nexus. What a performance from Cloud9. Absolute dominance here. 
switching our focus mostly. Like, I want to get these guys into a state of like critical thinking all the time. I have a lot of feelings players, so getting them to kind of kind of unlock the I guess more calculated part of their brain is gonna be the biggest focus. And hopefully getting them to in a nice way turn on themselves. If I can make them their harshest critic all the time, then we can mold into something great. Literally right after the game I just wanted to be back on the stage and make sure that my teammates don't remember that their mid laner was that guy. Because I really, really hated that feeling. Never want to feel that way again. So I'm just not gonna let it happen again. I want to make achievement with my team is only winning and be happy and be kind of each other. I heard that W is king of NA, so I can beat him. I'm coming, W, be ready.